Hello everyone. In this segment, we'll discuss about another important topic from VSTL called as VSTL attributes. Now, friends, in this segment, we'll first discuss about what do we mean by attributes, followed by its types as signal and array attributes. Now, let us see what we mean by attribute. Attribute is nothing but an important feature of VSTL that is used to return a value or to return a signal. So. As far as uh, sequential circuits or combinational circuits are considered, we need certain uh, conditions, we need certain signals that will return either the values or a signal. <coughs> Just take an example which is written as clock tick event. This statement is always written as clock tick event. It returns a value true. Now it can have two possibilities either it can return a true value or false value. It will return a value true. If there is a change in clock has occurred recently. Now we know that as far as flip flops are considered, a clock pulse is required which can have two values either a positive or negative. It can be positive H triggered or negative H triggered. So the switching from positive to negative or negative to positive decides whether to accept the input or not. Based on that, this condition can be used. Now depending upon whether it is returning a value or it is returning a signal, Signal attributes are having two types. First one, a signal attribute that returns a value and the other one, a signal attribute that returns a C. Now let us uh, discuss about first can be written using this statement. So the la this term, st last event, it basically returns the time elapsed since the previous event has occurred on the given input signal. Similarly, next attribute we have st last value. Now it will return the value of S before the prevent event of S. That means, each la jo event hua tha, uska jo value hoga, wo yaha par return kiya jayega. Similarly, we have the next as S tick last active. Now what it returns? It simply returns the time elapsed since the previous transaction on S. So if there is a transaction occur, that means if there is the value which is going to be, which is not going to be changed, that value will be uh, written. So based on that, it is going to return the values. These are only few examples active event, last event, last value, or last active. Now, let us come across the signal attributes that are used to return a signal. Now, we have four types over here they are written as S tick delayed, S tick stable, S tick quick, and S tick transaction. Now, let us see the first one as S tick delayed. Now, what it creates? It creates a signal which is same as S, but it is delayed by specific time. That means uh, if the input signal is starting from say 0 to 10 nanosecond, it has a value 1, then that one value will shifted by the given amount of time. So there is a delay in the input signal. That signal will be created. Similarly, next x t stable. Now what it creates? It creates a Boolean signal that is true if s had no events for the specific time. That means there is no change in the output values. That signal can be created by using st stable. Next, st quit. It it what it creates? It creates a boolean signal that is true if s had no transaction for the specific time. Now, if s has no transaction, that it simply indicates that there are not the values are not going to be changed. And if the values are not going to be changed, automatically we can suspend the operation. So it can be. Uh, turned out by using s tick quit. Next we have s tick transaction. Now what it creates? It creates a signal of type bit that changes for every transaction on s. That means every time the value is going to be changed from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. As you know that transaction is nothing but the previous uh, values are going to be remains same for the given specific amount of time. So in this way one can define uh, the signal attribute that can return a value or that returns a signal. I hope you understood. Now let us come across the second type which is called as array attribute. Now friends, we know array is nothing but combination of uh, the values or sequence of the given input values or the terms which are being available. So based on that, uh, here I have defined this with an example as we are defining the array attribute type ROM is an array. Now if it is an array, it can have a length so the first segment value we have written from 0 to 15 and second value we have written 7 down to 0 of bit. And we are returning the signal or we are creating the signal signal as ROM1 which belongs to ROM. Uh, 
ये अरे एट्रीब्यूट है तो उसका कुछ प्रॉपर्टीज होगा वी हैव दैट एट्रीब्यूट टर्म्स एज फर्स्ट ए टिक लेफ्ट एन ये क्या रिटर्न करेगा इट रिटर्न्स द लेफ्ट बाउंड ऑफ एंथ इंडेक्स रेंज फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हम रॉमन का बात करते हैं दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आवर फर्स्ट पर्टिकुलर टर्म सो इट इज रिटर्न एज रॉम 1 टिक लेफ्ट 1 सो इट विल रिटर्न द लेफ्ट इंडेक्स ऑफ द गिवन टर्म व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो सिमिलरली रॉम 1 लेफ्ट 2 That means ये सेगमेंट का जो लेफ्ट टर्म है दैट विल बी सेवन दैट विल बी रिटर्न सिमिलरली एटिक राइट एन इट विल रिटर्न ऑल राइट वैल्यूज लाइक फर्स्ट सिक्वेंस का फिफ्टीन है और सेकेंड सिक्वेंस का जीरो नेक्स्ट एटिक हाई एन तो इट विल रिटर्न लार्जेस्ट बाउंड ऑफ द ह्यूमन सेगमेंट एज पर एज द फर्स्ट सेगमेंट इज कंसिडर द लार्जेस्ट बाउंड इज फिफ्टीन और सेकेंड सेगमेंट का है सेवन सो इट कैन बी फिफ्टीन और सेवन सिमिलरली एटिक लो एन इट विल रिटर्न स्मॉलेस्ट बाउंड In case of this zero to fifteen, the value is zero, and in case of seven down to zero, the value is zero. So in both the cases, the value is going to be zero. Next, eight range n. So ये क्या return करेगा? It will return the range of first segment as well as second segment, which is zero to fifteen and seven down to zero. So in this way, one can return the values of array attributes also. I hope you understood the array attributes as well as signal attributes. Thank you.